Hi, I'm Diane Constantino, and I'm the Undergraduate Program Director for the Speech-Language Hearing Sciences Program at Boston University. I look forward to sharing with you in the next few minutes a bit about our college and our program and the students within it. Our college, the College of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, or sometimes called Sargent College, is a small college within a large university which offers us the opportunity to have some uh, close connections with our students and also to, um, for them to get to know one another well. So our program typically has about 50 undergraduates in this major. And today I'm delighted to have you meet three of our students so that you have an idea of who our student body is and what the individuals are like, what they appreciate about our program. So today you'll be meeting Katie Carone, Grace Meridian, and Isabel Yap. The Department of Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences offers a few degrees, actually. The Bachelor of Science in Speech, Language, Hearing Sciences, first and foremost, as well as a combined program in linguistics and speech, and a combined program that offers strongest students the opportunity for earning their master's program in a shorter period of time. We call that the combined BSMS, Speech, Language, Pathology program. So let's take a quick look at each one. The Bachelor of Science in Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences is a major that prepares the majority of our students for graduate studies so that they can pursue careers as speech language pathologists, audiologists, or speech language hearing scientists and researchers. The Bachelor of Science, however, does offer opportunity in a variety of careers that someone can pursue with their Bachelor of Science, such as being a speech pathology or audiology assistant, or working in communications such as media, sales, and public relations, or education, health and human services, and government agencies. A degree in our speech language hearing sciences will focus primarily on the science of human communication and its disorders over the lifespan. So speech language pathologists and audiologists work with infants, with school-aged children with adults. We are seen in various settings working on feeding, pre-literacy skills, literacy skills, reading and learning in school age, language development, articulation, stuttering, voice disorders, autism spectrum disorders, and in adulthood, uh, people who have suffered a stroke, or have cognitive deficits, and uh, we are seen in those areas in medical settings and outpatient settings uh, as well. About 17% of the population of the United States is experiencing some communication disorder. That means about 46 million people. Our students will also learn about physical, biological, cognitive, linguistic, and social sciences, all areas that contribute to a person's effective communication. Being in a profession and in the healthcare environment, we will teach contemporary issues in healthcare and education, such as ethics, cultural diversity, and the use of evidence-based practices. Our combined program in linguistics and speech language hearing sciences is an intercollegiate program that uh, helps the student or offers the student the opportunity to not only learn about language acquisition and development and communication disorders, but also have a solid grounding in linguistics. The student who's interested in looking at the structure, use, acquisition, and development of languages of the world. These students will also be prepared to go on to graduate studies in speech pathology, or audiology, neurolinguistics, and language technology. And for our strong students who have committed to academic excellence and achievement, there is the opportunity in their junior year to be invited to the combined bachelor's and master's degree program in speech language pathology, such that they can complete the, uh, both degrees in five years plus the following summer instead of the typical six years. These students upon completion have met the criterion and the standards needed in order to enter clinical practice. Our undergraduates have so many opportunities and you'll hear about some of them in a moment from our students, but among them are the opportunities to participate in research. 
BU, being a research one institution, offers a, a program we call UROP, the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program. And here students will partner with primary investigators on a project that they have developed and are interested in, and they will present it at our annual UROP Symposium. Students might also volunteer or obtain research assistantships in the speech language hearing science research labs, uh, which have our renowned faculty listed here and their labs of, and studies in sensory motor rehabilitation, speech neuroscience, psychoacoustics, aphasia and cognition, communication neuroscience, and we partner with the Center of Autism Research and our students can be found working there as well. In addition, students will have the opportunity to engage in community activities and service in, our, in the local Boston area, work study opportunities, such as at the Boston University's Children's Center, where there's child care and early to, uh, education opportunities for faculty, staff, and um, employees at Boston University. Students may wish to study abroad in programs in other countries for a semester long experience. Uh, many of our students have gone places like London, Australia, and Spain, among others. And then there are one and two week international service learning programs which can occur over spring break or in the just following um, the end of the spring semester in early summer. These programs uh, have been initiated in countries in South America as well as India, Thailand, Cambodia, and probably more in our near future. There are a wide range of courses and electives that students can take outside of the major. And one of the things we have at BU called uh, Boston University's Hub offers six essential capacities for students so that we're graduating well-rounded individuals who have skills and abilities in the areas of things like scientific inquiry, quantitative reasoning, communication skills, critical thinking, and global citizenship. Of course, the most fun probably are the clubs, of which there are numerous clubs and opportunities to join and change when interested. And one of ours that you'll be hearing about is the National Student Speech Language Hearing Association, what we call NISHLA for short. And that's where our students gather to learn more about the professions and to socialize. The future outlook of our profession is bright. Data from ASHA includes things like from the Bureau of Labor Statistics that the national employment rate of speech pathologists and audiologists is expected to grow much faster than average through the year 2028. That means that we'll have an additional 41,000 speech pathologists and 2,000 audiologists in order to fill the demands between the years uh, up to the year of 2028. A 27% increase in job openings for speech and a 16% increase in job openings for audiology. In addition, in the US News and World Report, uh, speech language pathologists ranked as number 18 in the best healthcare jobs category for the year 2019. And a speech was number 23, audiology number 29 in their 100 best jobs category. I can only speak for myself, having been in this profession for nearly 30 years, that it has a tremendously fulfilling and rewarding opportunity for life and many different job opportunities and settings to work in across a person's life as our demands and needs in the work, workplace change as well. So let me introduce you to our students. Hi, my name is Katie Carone. I'm a graduating senior. I'm graduating in May in the Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences major. So one of the highlights for me throughout the past four years has been having really small class sizes and really getting to know my professors. So because of our small class sizes, I've really gotten to know not only everyone in my year, but everyone in the year above me and kids in the year below me. So it's given me a lot of resources and mentors and people to mentor. It's just been a really amazing experience. 
Um, I've also gotten really close with a lot of my professors, which I think is something that's really special. And they not only serve to help me academically, but also to grow as a person and a future professional in the field, which is really valuable for me. Wonderful. So Katie, since you're the NISHLA president, our National Speech Language Hearing Association Club, I wondered if you could talk a little bit about some of the things that you do, what you've uh, created there in the club. Yeah, definitely. So um, NISHLA has definitely also been one of the highlights for me throughout my undergraduate career. Um, we're really involved in the greater Boston community. So through that, we do something called the Walk for Hearing in which we volunteer at to help raise money for children with hearing impairments and cochlear implants. Um, we also make Halloween goodie bags for the children at Franciscan Children's Hospital just to brighten their holiday a little more. We participate in the Walk for MS. So those are some things that we do in like the greater Boston community. But in Nishla at our meetings, we're about a major of like 40 to 50 students. So it's really nice that we're able to all grow towards a greater goal and we all have the same passions like we all love to help people so really being surrounded by a passionate group of people is important um we are here to support each other we're we feed off each other we're giving each other opportunities all the time um, we also are really focused on our own professional development so we have speakers come in from Boston Children's Hospital. We have a BU faculty panel in which we just learn about the trajectory mm -hmm. of the field and really how dense it is and how more we can grow towards just knowing like what we can do in the field in the future. And it's just really, it's a great community to be involved in. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Grace Meradian and I'm a junior in the program and my highlight of going to school at Boston University has been um, getting involved in this field of speech pathology as an undergraduate. I personally work in a research lab on campus, but I know of other students who have participated in internships in the feeding and swallowing program at Mass General Hospital and other people who've been interested in audiology have been able to work as a newborn hearing screening um, worker. And it's so amazing to go to school in Boston because you can take advantage of all those opportunities. Absolutely. And you also are doing um, a year up, the Undergraduate Research Opportunity Program. Could you tell us a little bit about your studies? Yeah, um, so after you've worked in a research lab unpaid um, for a semester, you can apply for year up funding to um, get paid for it. And so uh, my first semester, I worked in the aphasia research lab. And so I did administrative tasks, but I was also in the classroom for their intensive cognitive and communication rehab program. And so young adults who are hoping to go back to college one day, um, come to Boston University and receive lectures um, to simulate a college program. Um, so I worked in the classroom helping the SLP run that. Um, and now I have my own Europe project. So um, I approached a PhD student and um, asked if I could do Europe. And now I have a project analyzing outcomes from their individual speech therapy component of the ICCR program. That's wonderful. It's a great opportunity, isn't it? <laughs> okay, thank you, Grace. Hi, I'm Isabel Yacht and I'm a freshman in the program and I like one of my highlights from being in this in my first year has been just all of the amazing people I've been able to meet freshmen and in the grades above me as well as the faculty and staff in the speech language and hearing science program as well as in Sargent as a whole but um, everyone has so many different stories to tell there is so much to learn about them professionally and personally everyone is really amazing and sweet and especially specifically in um, the SLP major, um, or speech language and hearing science in general. Um, I've met a bunch of different people as freshmen who have many different reasons for studying um, this specifically and taking on the major. And it's been really great to hear everyone's story. Mm -hmm. That's great. So Isabel, being a freshman, you probably remember when you were looking at colleges and I was wondering if there was something that you wondered about or maybe worried about when you were sitting in their seats and what you know now. Sure, when I was looking at BU as a school, um, I was definitely 
wondering how I could use my time there as an undergrad um, to get opportunities within the field and broaden my understanding of how it's structured professionally and what that looks like once you're out of college. And I think um, initially, like I've had a lot of experience um, talking to people who are professionals in the field because Sargent is filled with like the amazing people making great strides in their field. I've been able to talk to them about it and kind of get insight and ask questions and everyone's just been really nice about letting me be very inquisitive about it. Um, and it's just been, it's been great getting to uh, get all that knowledge from everyone. But um, yeah. talk about that. Wonderful. Okay, well, I hope that you have learned what you wanted to know about the program. Um, if not, I know that there are opportunities for you to ask questions and um, that the people, Heather Nicholas will be offering her email address and she can also provide our email addresses if you have questions for us. So whatever you choose, uh, we wish you the best of health and the best of luck. And so we will sign off. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.